Amen. Born on September 15th, 21. I wanted to touch a wee bit today on dispensationalism and how it has corrupted the church over roughly the last 150 years. And that is due to Schofieldism and how it has influenced Christianity over these decades. And as a result, and also a result of the rapture as taught via the Schofield Bible, via dispensationalism. It has caused Christians to become complacent, lazy, and not doing what the Lord told us to do. which is to take care of business. As a result, people aren't standing up. They're not standing up for liberty. They're not standing up for their rights. They're not standing up for the Lord. because they're too consumed and wrapped up into this man-made doctrine and rapture theory. So they're counting on the Lord to come and whisk them away before all these things are to come on the world, which is a false doctrine. It is all of Judaism and of the Jesuit priesthood or order. It all has its roots in Judaic Jesuit roots. It's all rooted in that, which is all of the devil. Do your own research. Do it. I dare you. I challenge you. This has all been carefully scripted and organized in an effort to get Christianity to where it is today. For this time and in this moment. So that you will do nothing and that you will comply, and that you will accept what's going on. This is a delusion that's been cast upon the world because you don't desire the truth. People would much rather be spoon-fed lies than they would truth. Because to be honest with you, the lies are much sweeter than the truth. Just like in the movie The Matrix, you know? It's much easier and much more palatable to take the blue pill than it is the red pill, right? I mean, when Keanu Reeves took the red pill, what did he, what, what, what was he, what did he wake up into? eating slop out of a bowl with a bunch of holes in him, ports or whatever the hell they were. Living on a old stinky ship, crawling through the tunnels and service ducts and whatever of what was once our world. 
why did that world become as such? Because people deny the truth and instead believe the lie. People did nothing. And so therefore, AI and other things due to the complacence and laziness of the society before had taken over the world and turned its creator, which were human beings, into the slave. Judaism And their yoke that they are under, their bondage that they are still in, over the centuries, has continually made its effort to draw back under the yoke of bondage those us in Christ whom are free men and women. We are free in Christ. Outside of Christ, we're in bondage. And they're trying to draw us back under bondage. And that's what the whole Schofield thing is about, man. If you have a Schofield Bible, your best recourse is to burn it or throw it in the trash. Or use it for toilet paper. It is of the devil. Jesus told us to, do, to take care of business until he returns and to not be concerned when he returns and to not sit here and squabble and quarrel amongst ourselves about his returning. Because why? He didn't know. The angels in heaven don't even know. Only God. The Father knows when the Lord will, will return. So Jesus' commandment to us was to take care of business until he comes back. And if you're going to hide your gift under a bushel, if you're going to take the pound that he gave you to invest, right? To scatter those seeds with the giftings that he gives you. If you're going to take that and you're just going to hide it under a rag until he comes back and give it back to him and having produced nothing of it, he will take that from you and give it to somebody else who will produce. By sitting around idly on your hands and not doing anything, especially in this time that we're in right now, where we could lose everything again. Because history is repeating then your gifts and your abilities will be taken from you and given to somebody else. And you're going to have to atone for that. You're, what I mean by that is when you're standing before the Lord, He will scold you. He's not going to be very happy with you. I'm not telling you that you're not saved. I'm just saying that you're going to get your can chewed and I don't want to hear that. But I don't do what I'm doing now. And I haven't changed my whole platform over now. Because of that, I've simply done it because I felt compelled and led to do what I do now. And I don't do it with any expectation of reward whatsoever. I know that there will be reward in heaven. But that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because he gave me a gift to do and I have a purpose finally in my life. That's something greater than myself. That's something greater than my own abilities here. You know, working on boats or whatever. I haven't worked on a boat in I don't know how long. And I miss it. And I miss making a lot of money. But two years ago when I felt that compel, that com compelment 
or that drawing or that I felt I was being led to do something because I, I wanted to do something and I didn't know what I could possibly do. I don't have any influence over government. I don't have any influence over anything local. But what I can do is share my knowledge with you that I've acquired. And my mom told me a long time ago I have the gift of gab, which I think I've proven that. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of you guys can attest to that too that talk to me on the phone. So, it's a gift I was given, so therefore I'm going to use it. I'm making this video to try and encourage you to see the truth, to find the truth for yourselves. Sitting here and bickering about round earth, flat earth, sitting here bickering about and calling each other names, calling each other false Christ, false apostles, or whatever it is that you're calling each other because one person doesn't believe in the rapture as taught by the churches of today. And as a result, they're a demon. That's, is that scriptural? No. Because you're calling somebody a demon who's trying to expose the truth over dispensationalism, which is of men. And all these other things, such as people now wanting to, you know, they're, they're looking for all these Jewish holidays and these feast days and these atonement days and sh sounding shofars and, and um, speaking in Hebrew and all this Hebrew roots nonsense is all drawing you back under bondage. It's all Judaic. It's all of this world. The kingdom of God is not a earthly, worldly kingdom, nor will it be. The kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom, which is to come. Not here. And the Israel that you see today is not the Israel of then. That's gone. It was decimated. It was torn down. The Jews said to Pilate, We haven't a king. We have no king but Caesar. And so what did God do then? He said, Whoa, really? Okay, fine. <laughs> Caesar's your king? So be it. He gave them Caesar. And then what happened? After Christ was crucified and he died and he went to hell and, he, um, and then he ascended or he was resurrected and then he ascended to heaven. Shortly after that, Rome had completely decimated Jerusalem. That wall that's over there is what's left of a Roman fort. It's not... It's not a part of the old Jerusalem because Jesus himself said not one stone will be left unturned. And so therefore it was. Are you going to argue that point too? Are you going to, am I or anyone like me going to be called an antichrist because we just spoke truth? You better check the own spot in your eye, man, before you go, you know, calling somebody else out because you'll soon find thereafter that you were in error. But being that we know the root of that error, we forgive you in love because I still consider those people my brothers in Christ. They are just deceived through what they've been taught due to the deception, the depth of it, the roots of it, where it came from. Find the cause. You know, I'm a marine technician, okay? I'm like an auto mechanic, like a doctor, like a surgeon. We have to find the cause before we can actually fix something. 
A doctor is basically somebody who just gives you medication, kicks your ass out the door, charges, charges you anywhere from a hundred bucks to three, four, five hundred bucks, and have a nice day. Next, they don't really fix anything, other than like you have an if you have an infection or anything. They, but for the most part, they just medicate you or they just give you stitches. But as a surgeon, as a technician, you find the cause of the problem. And you start with that and you fix that. And that way it'll never happen again, right? Or at the very least, it fixes that until the next problem arises. Now you had to find the cause for that. You fix the cause before you can fix the actual problem. What society and churchianity and things of the like that's going on these days is deception upon deception upon deception. Let's not be consumed with when the Lord's going to return. Okay? Let's count on it. Let's look forward to it. Oh my goodness, let's look forward to it. I don't know, I don't know any one of us that doesn't look forward to it. It'd be great if he came tomorrow, man. I'm not saying that the Lord's not going to return. I'm just saying that the rapture, as you have been taught, or whoever you might be, the majority of us have been taught wrong. And when you find out that you've been taught that wrong, that'll cause you to stand up and to do something. I hope. And there's a whole lot more, man, within this, this web of deception that's been woven for us Christians, those of us in Christ, and even, even you that might still be in, in uh, dispensationalism, right? Even, I'm not putting one over the other. I'm not saying anyone is better than the other. I'm just saying that, as I said yesterday, at some point, you have to accept the truth for what it is. You know? And I believe that this is a truth that needs to be investigated. Because it is causing people to call one, one another antichrists or non-believers. Likewise to the flat earth, round earth, cat and hat earth. Is that relevant at all? Seriously, is that relevant? Who gives a flying flip what shape the earth is? It makes no difference. For some people, <clears throat> it, it has drawn them to the Lord. For some people, it, it, it's worked in that way. So, fine. But it's not something that we need to quibble and quarrel about. It's not something that we need to be sitting there calling each other an antichrist over. We're out here attacking each other when, when instead we should be off of our hands and attacking what the root is. <laughs> That's the problem. You see? The devil wants us fighting amongst each other. Get behind me, Satan. I'm tired of fighting with my brothers. I'm tired of fighting with my sisters. I'm tired of seeing people online that have followings of almost a million subscribers that still follow these things of time long ago that are being drawn back under the yoke of bondage through Judaism and Catholicism and Jesuit nonsense. Those people are the Antichrist. And the people with these large followings that are, that are going forward with this, I can't be mad at them, but when, when you try to, to show them in love and patience that they are in error, they completely ignore you. Yeah, 
They do because they have a huge following and they won't take any correction. Sorry, my Tourette's is really acting up. When I get worked up like this, man, my twitches go freaking bonkers. And You know, I was following whom I thought was a really, really, really amazing man of God, man. I won't name his name. For, for many years. And he drew me closer to the Lord than I can even describe to you. And, and I still have mad respect for the guy. But when this whole lie began, and I went to him for instruction, they were completely, the entire church was completely under the delusion and I could not believe my eyes. It was so bad, man, that they were making masks, that they were following all the guidelines, they were following everything, they were just completely going along with the narrative. And this is a man that preached against the narrative for so many years, man. And I couldn't believe it. And I said something numerous times and there was never a response. Of course, why? Because <laughs> too big for your own britches. You're above that. And any other cor correction is beneath you and you don't even give an ear to it. Humble yourselves or be humbled. You know, honestly, man, this is why I, I drive home in every video to seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek his wisdom, his guidance, his instruction, not your own. Pray on it. I'm not a prayer warrior, man. But my will is for the Lord to speak to me you know I don't mean audibly let's not make it weird I mean for him to guide me and lead me in righteousness for him to guide me and lead me into truth to lead me to the people that are speaking the truth you know we should all want that we should all desire that but so many people they really truly don't Is that a willing heart? Is it? You don't want to be a man set in your own ways. There are some things you need to be set in, right? You need to have a root. A firm root. But you do still need to be open to the other things. And I'm telling